everyone, I am Ashwin and today I am going to be speaking about the temples of Kerala and Himachal Pradesh. Temple architecture in Kerala is different from that of the other regions in India, largely dictated by the geography of the region that abounds in the forest, blessed with the bounties of the monsoons. The structure of temples in Kerala is distinctive. The roofs are steep and pointed and are covered with copper sheets. The Kerala roof resembles those found in Himalayan regions and those in East Asia. The shape of the roof is in accordance with the plan of the sanctum below. With a circular plan, one sees a conical roof, while with a square plan, the roof is pyramidal. The roof is constructed with wood and is covered with the copper plates. Most of the temples seen in Kerala today have undergone several phases of renovation, given the perishable nature of the construction materials. The central sanctum of a Kerala temple is referred to as a Sri Koval. It is surrounded by a cloister prakara, pierced at one or more cardinal points with a gopara dwara. The cloister prakaram has a namaskara mandabam located directly in front of the sanctum. This prakaram also houses subsidiary shrines. A kitchen is located in the southeastern corner of this prakaram. The mugha mandabam is integrated within the gopara entrance. The flagstaff or Dwajastambam is located outside of the Dwajastambam. The Baliptam may be located in the Mukhamandabam or in the outer courtyard. The outer prakaram or courtyard houses, the shrub shrines and optionally a temple tank. The Kutambalam or the theatre hall of the Kerala temple is located either as a part of the inner prakara or the southeastern corner facing north or as a separate hall outside the innermost prakaram, either facing into a temple or facing north. This has a stage rise from the rest of the floor and the backstage area. This is the site of a performance of Kathakali or Chakyar Kutu recitals. Thus the Kutambalam plays a role in educating visitors on the rich legends of Indian cultural fabric. The Kerala temple is an amalgam of stonework, woodwork, stucco work and painting, harmoniously blended into a structure vibrant with traditions of the region. The woodwork here is of great importance and it gives the essential work and character to the Kerala temple silhouette. The inner sculpture framework of the temple is of wood, although the base and the structure above are of granite and laterite respectively. The roof projects out at several levels in order to protect the inner skeletal framework from the vigorous monsoon that inundate the region. The Kerala temple walls are of course laterite stone, masonry plastered in mud and lime. Murals are seen on several of these temple walls. Another distinctive feature of Kerala temple is the use of vilakkamadam or the multi-tiered brass lamps in front of temples. Lakshadibam is a spectacular celebration of traditional lighting where tears of small oil lamps lining the outer walls of the inner program are lit. Himachal Pradesh, which is often described as the abode of gods, is dotted with temples, literally one in every hamlet. The splendid heights of the Malian Ranges, with its great scenic beauty and aura of spiritual calm, see in the nature home of the gods. Two thousands or more temples all over the state relitate this fact. Most of the temples have legends dating back to centuries, some as old as mankind itself. Almost every temple has some kind of fair or festival connected. Himachal Pradesh is one place where pilgrimage and nature both blend in perfect harmony. With some well-known temples and monasteries, pilgrimage is a natural tourism attraction here. The temples here turn into centers of huge gatherings and attraction during festivals and fairs nectared with it. Throughout Himachal Pradesh, there are distinctive styles of hill, hill temples architecture which mark out different eras of religious belief. A tower like conical formation built of stone and decorated with carvings is shikar style of architecture. The top of the shikar has amalaka, the circular sun disk. All the essential elements of a Hindu temple, mandap, garbagriha, and shikar are there in such constructions. Shikara, Sanskrit word translating literally to mountain peak, refers to the rising tower in Hindu temple architecture of North India, and also you often used in Jain temples. Lord Vahidyanath's temple at Bejnath and the Lakshmi Narayan group of temples at Chamba are fine examples of this style. 
the solitary instance of raw cut architecture reminding one of the thought provoking remnant of gupta influenced classical art that thrived in the hills is the takur wada at masuru it has been called the earliest specimen of shikhar design in himalayas bijli mahadev lakshana devi at barmore shakti devi at chatrari and haktoti are few examples of this type of architecture Temples with wooden style are also found in Himachal from the ancient time. It is most common form in hills. Freestanding pagoda style have superimposed roofs directly over the garbh griha. A tower like conical formation built of stone and decorated with carvings is shikhar style of architecture. A pagoda is a tiered tower with multiple eaves. built in traditions originating as stupa in historic south asia and further developed in east asia or with respect to those traditions common to nepal china japan korea vietnam myanmar india sri lanka and other parts of asia pagoda style of temple architecture in hp is inherited nepal the temples with pyramidal tier roofs shape up the pagoda look the diminishing roofs rise above the other and the top one unlike the squarish others is round funnel like hadimba raja bahadur singh built pagoda style four story temple in 1553 ad a dome is an architectural element that resembles the hollow upper half of a sphere domes have an arch- long architectural lineage that extends back into prehistory and they have been constructed from mud snow stone wood brick concrete metal glass and plastic over the centuries the symbolism associated with domes include mortuary celestial and governmental tradition that have likewise developed over time these are new additions to the old architecture of temples in hills the temples with domes round or elongated or flat Most of the Buddhist monasteries are flat roofed. A flat roof is a roof which is almost in level in contrast to many types of slope roofs. The slope of a roof is properly known as its pitch and flat roofs have up to approximately 10 degrees. Flat roofs are an ancient form mostly used in arid climates and allow the roof space to be used as a living space or a living roof. Satyal Valley is a style of mandap with one or more pagoda roofs above the garbh griha that correspond to shikhar of a classic temple usually at one end of building but sometimes in the center a blend of pent roof and pagoda style it is a style of mandap with one or more pagoda roofs above the garbh griha that correspond to shikhar of a classical temple Bahana Mahadev in Kangra, Ganeshwari Devi at Nethar in Outer Saraj, Bhimakali Temple at Saran are some examples of such architecture. And with this, I conclude my speech. Thank you.